Hi, good morning. It's Friday morning um, and we're just going to do a little bit of a morning yoga flow today. So, um, you know the drill, you know how this works if you've been doing it with me. Um, you know, I know I realize that a lot of things are opening back up today, but my yoga studios are not. So we're going to keep doing it like this until, until further notice. So. Um, go ahead and hit play if you want to hit play on the playlist and just get started however you like. Come to a comfortable space. We're going to end up in a seated position today. So just however you want to be to start with. I'm going to keep this sweatshirt on until I warm up a little bit. As you come to that seated comfortable space, just start to relax your body. Deepen your breath, not really changing the way that you breathe yet, just kind of breathing a little bit deeper in and out, however you like, through your nose, through your mouth, whatever works. Letting your eyes close or your gaze soften and start to shift into your ujjayi breath. It's in and out through your nose. Filling up as you breathe in through your nose. And exhale out through your nose. Constricting the back of your throat as you exhale through your nose. Letting that ujjayi pranayama take over that ocean wave like breath in and out through your nose. It's an audible and powerful breath. Way to a seated position if you're not already there. You can sit with your legs crossed or just anywhere where you can sit up straight, nice long spine. Taking your hands to your knees or your shins on your next inhale, just press your chest forward, arch your back, looking up. Exhale, sit back into your hips, straight out those arms. Good, seated cow pose, breathe in. Exhale, seated cat, pull it back. Let's do that a few more times. Inhaling, expanding, and exhaling, contracting. Good, twice more. One more time. Good, neutral spine here. I'm gonna to turn to face you a little bit. As you breathe in, reach those arms up. You can turn and look towards your hands. And on your exhale, tip over to the right side. So you're gonna stay over to the right. Hand or elbow down to the ground. As you breathe in, take that left arm, reach it up and even open it up, reach behind you. Exhale, take that left hand, tap it to the right, rounding through your back. Do that two more times. Breathe in, open up. Exhale, close it off. One more, open it up. Good, exhale, close it off, walk those hands to the center. We'll pause right there. Elbows can bend, head can hang heavy. And roll it back up to a seated position. Take a big breath in, reach those arms up. Exhale, tip over to the left. Hand or elbow to the ground. Press those hips down. Good, inhale, reach your right arm up and maybe even behind you. Exhale. 
exhale your right hand to your left. Good, really rounding through your back here. Open it up, breathe it in. Exhale, close it off. Once more. Good, exhale, close it off. Walk those hands to the center. Pause right there. Elbows bent, head hangs heavy. Breathe in, reach tall. Exhale, make your way onto all fours. Losing my AirPods. Taking those wrists underneath your shoulders, or maybe a little wider, knees under your hips. Sometimes it feels good to flip your hands around, fingertips towards your legs, insides of your wrists to the front. Breathe in for cow. I like to tuck my toes in cow, stretching through the arches of my feet. Exhale for cat. I untuck, press into the top. Twice more, breathe it in for cow. Exhale, cat. One more time, inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Good, neutral spine. Turn your hands back to the front. Tuck those toes under as you inhale and exhale, lift your hips high, down dog. And just move how it feels good to move in that down dog. it out. Maybe lift both heels, then press them down. Relax through your neck. Good. Inhale to plank. You can always modify that plank however you need. Strong, sturdy plank position. Now take another breath here. Exhale, your hips go high, down dog. Right back to plank. Tuck your chin to your chest though and roll it out to plank. Your head's the last thing to come out. Exhale, reverse that roll, lift from the hips, pull it back. Engaging your core, inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, reverse that roll. Good, one more time, breathe it in. Exhale, take it back. Good, inhale forward. Exhale all the way down. Lower body relaxes and press your upper body up. I'm gonna press onto my forearms to start with. Try to relax everything from your rib cage down as you press into those forearms. Shoulders away from your ears. Good, breathe it in right here. Exhale, take it all the way down. Tuck those toes under, press yourself to plank as you inhale. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Good, take a breath, lift your heels. As you exhale, press them down, walk your hands to your feet. We're gonna pause right there, heavy head. Maybe you hold your elbows and sway side to side. Let your knees be soft here. Take a slow roll to standing, heavy head and arms. Roll it up slowly. Reach up at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, take a breath, reach those arms up. As you exhale, take your arms wide. If you have the space, dive it down to a forward fold. Good, breathe in at the bottom, half lift. Press into your shins or reach for the mat. Exhale, walk it out to plank. Stay right there in that strong, sturdy plank position. Good, breathe it in, slide forward. Exhale, lower halfway down and stay right there in that chaturanga. You can always take your knees down. Good, next inhale, untuck your toes, press your body through, upward facing dog, or leave those thighs relaxed for cobra. 
exhale your hips high, down dog. Just giving ourselves some extra time in these first few vinyasas. Breathe in, heels lift high. Exhale, press them down, hands go to feet. Soft knees, heavy head and arms, roll it up slowly. Reach up at the top. Hands to heart. Good, breathe in, arms up. Take them wide, dive it down, all the way to your forward fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, walk it up to plank and pause. Full breath, breathe it in. Exhale it out. Good, slide forward to your tiptoes as you inhale. Chaturanga as you exhale, elbows hug your rib cage. Bend the breath here. Breathe it in. And exhale it out. Untuck those toes, press your body through, upward facing dog or cobra, that's your inhale. Stay right there as you exhale. Breathe it in. Exhale those hips nice and high, down dog. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, heels up. Press them down, hands to feet. Roll slowly. Reach up. Hands to heart on your exhale. Good, inhale, reach. Forward fold. Breathe in, half lift, look forward. Exhale to plank. Spin to breath. Go ahead and slide forward as you're on your next inhale. Chatter on the exhale, spin the breath. Press your body through. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Stay right there. Exhale those hips high. Good. Breathe in. Look forward. This time take your feet to your hands. I'm going to grab my scrunchie that went off when I took my sweatshirt off. Pause in that forward fold at the top of your mat. And you can hold those elbows and sway. Relax through your neck. Good, inhale here, half lift. Press into your shins or reach for the mat. Hold it deeper as you exhale. Rise all the way to standing, reach it high. Hands to heart. Good, interlace your fingers. Press those palms up as you breathe in. On your exhale, tip over to the right. You can cross your left foot in front or behind or just keep both heels pressing down. I got a little too close to the house today. Good, back to center as you breathe in. Release your hands. We're gonna twist right, left arm forward, right arm back. Keep your hips square, just twist that upper body and step your left leg back for a lunge. Good, as you breathe in, tilt up. That right arm can wrap behind your back, left arm reaches up, exhale, tip to the mat, but don't put any weight on it. Just plant, just kind of brush the hand with this finger, or brush the mat with your fingers. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, brush it down. One more time, reach it up. Exhale, take that left hand down, plant it, side plank, any version of side plank. You can drop your left knee down. Breathe it in, reach that right arm forward, arc those hips up. Exhale to plank, chaturanga, right back to plank, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga, untuck your toes, press your body through. Hips go high, down dog. Good, breathe it in, let your heels press to the mat. Exhale to plank, squeeze your right knee to your nose, really round through that back. Inhale, back to down dog, heels press down, same leg, right knee in. Breathe it in, down dog. Exhale, right knee in, plant that foot between your hands, look forward and step forward for a half lift. Hold it deeper as you exhale. Rise to standing, reach high. Hands to heart center. Good, interlace those fingers, press your palms up and exhale, lean left. 
again, crossing your right foot in front or behind or just pressing those heels down. Good, breathe it in, come back to center, release your hands. Exhale, twist, take that right arm forward, left arm back. Keep your upper body twisted, hips square. Step that right leg back for a lunge. Breathe in, tilt up. Exhale, tilt down, just brush the mat with your fingers. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. One more time, take it up. Exhale it down. Plant that hand, open it up for side plank, any version. Left arm reaches forward, hips arc up, breathe it in. Plank and chaturanga, exhale, right back to plank, inhale. Exhale, lower two. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower three, press it through. Hips go high. Breathe it in, let your heels press down. Exhale, plank, left knee to nose or forehead. Back to down dog. Exhale, left knee in. One more. Good, exhale, left knee in. Plant that foot. Step forward and half lift as you breathe in. Hold deeper on your exhale. Go ahead, take your hands behind your head here. Pull your elbows close, tuck your chin to your chest and roll it up slowly. Inhale at the top, take those elbows wide, spine is long. Exhale, lean right. Keep leaning right, press that left heel down as you breathe in. Now pull your elbows together, circle it around. Good, inhale, elbows wide, center. Exhale, lean left. Press that right heel down as you breathe in. Elbows pull, circle it around. Good, inhale center, opening up through your chest. Press those hips forward, lean it back. Exhale forward, fold, take it down. Half lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale. Press it through, upward facing dog, stay here. Look over your right shoulder as you exhale. Inhale, head center. Exhale, look left. Inhale, center. Take your nose to the mat as you exhale. Good, press it up. Hips go high. Breathe in, heels lift. And as you exhale, press them down. Walk your hands to your feet. Roll it up slowly. Reach up at the top. Hands to heart, right knee lifts. You can grab that shin or underneath your knee or lift it up without touching. Go ahead, extend that right leg forward and we'll take a short step forward. Pyramid pose, hips stay square. You can open that back foot a little bit if you need or all 10 toes can face the front, reach it up. And fold halfway, hands can come to your quad. Maybe you slide to your shin or all the way down. Pulling that right hip back and your left hip forward. Good, as you breathe in, you're gonna halfway lift. And on your exhale, walk your hands around to your left foot. So go to the back, bend your left knee, slide your right leg back for a lunge. And we'll twist right hand down, left arm up. Stack those shoulders. If you want to drop your back knee down, drop it. Catch your right foot with your left hand. Good. Come back to your twisted lunge as you breathe in. Lifting that knee up. Exhale. Plant your hands. Press into those palms and sweep your left leg high. Three-legged dog with hips square. Exhale to three-legged plank. Press that left heel a little higher as you shift your chest on top of your wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Push the, press that left heel a little higher. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Squeeze your knee in towards your nose, towards your forehead. 
plant that foot between your hands. Come up to a high crescent lunge, arms up. Exhale, we'll just pivot to the front, high lunge with your right leg in front. Breath in. Sink it all the way down. Untuck your toes and shift your hips back. Fold over that straight right leg. Good. Breathe in, rock forward. Leave your back knee down for a low crescent lunge. You can press your body away. Arms reach up. Sometimes it feels good to reach over to the right side. Good. Breathe it in. Exhale, shift your hips back again for one breath. Fold over that straight right leg. And exhaling. Good. As you breathe in, rock forward. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Those hands come in front of your right foot. Keep your hips nice and square and your right knee soft if you need. Send that left leg high. Square hip standing split. Breathe it in. Reach it up. Exhale. Just tap your toes behind you. Inhale it up. Exhale. Tap. Inhale it up. Exhale, tap those toes. Left foot meets the right, feet are together or slightly apart. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Hold it deeper, bend those knees, Utkatasana. Sweep your arms up. Take your arms wherever you want them here. Heart center, reaching up. Arms wide. Deep, full breaths. The weight is in your heels. Your knees are right over the center of your feet. But as you breathe in, arch it back, legs straighten. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Add an extra push up here, press it up. Take it down. Good, press your body through upward facing dog. Breathe in, dip your nose to the mat on your exhale. Press it up. Hips go high. Breathe in, heels lift, and as you press them down, walk your hands to your feet. Roll it up slowly. Reach up. Hands to heart. Left knee lifts. You can grab it or just lift it up. Extend that left leg forward. Short step, we'll come to pyramid. Hips stay nice and square, reach high. Exhale, fold. Hands wherever you want or need here as you fold into that pyramid pose. Breathe in for a halfway lift. Walk your hands around to your right foot. Lunge, slide your left leg back. Twist, left hand down and right arm up. You can stay there or drop that back knee and catch your foot. Good, release that foot. Come back up to your twisted lunge as you breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands. Press into those palms and sweep your right leg high. Three-legged dog. Next exhale, find three-legged plank. Press that right heel a little higher as you shift forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank. Squeeze that knee in right down the center. Plant your foot, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, pivot front for a high lunge. Breathe it in. Sink it all the way down. Untuck your toes, shift your hips back as you straighten your front leg. Good, inhale, rock forward, stack your knee on top of your ankle, slow crescent lunge, arms up. Maybe you want to lean to the left.
exhale, hip shift back again, one breath, fold over that left leg. Now inhale, rock forward, tuck your back toes, lift your knee, hips stay square, send your right leg high, left knee stay soft if you need, press that heel up, breathe it in. Exhale, tap your toes, inhale it up, exhale, tap, inhale it up, exhale, tap, right foot meets the left, together or slightly apart, tap, way lift. Hold it deeper, knees bend, sweep those arms up. Take those arms wherever you want. Good, inhale, legs straighten, arch it back if you like. Forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, we'll add an extra push up. Press it up, take it down, press it through, upward facing dog, dip it down, exhale, press it up, hips go high. Good, still with those hips nice and square, send that right leg up, good, exhale, pull that right knee right down the center, inhale, send it up. Now this exhale, just lower that right foot down, tap it down. Inhale it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale it up. Exhale, tap it down. One more time, send it up. Knee to nose. Good, send it up. Tap it down. Good, right leg high. Again, this time you'll pull your knee right down the center and plant your foot. Back heel spins down, warrior one. Shoulder square. Exhale, open to warrior two. Flip that right palm, reverse your warrior. Put those arms wherever you want here. You can support your head. Sometimes it feels good to bind your hands behind your back. Good, exhale, come forward, extended side angle. Right forearm to your quad or right hand down. That left arm can go up or over. Breathe it in. Exhale, left hand down. Lift your back heel, sink your hips. We're gonna twist that right arm up as you breathe in. We're gonna come to a lunar lunge. On your exhale, turn your right foot out. Rotate on the outer blade of your left foot and dip your hip down. Reach toward the back with that right arm. Good, inhale, hips up. Just reach forward, leave your feet like they are. Exhale, dip that hip down. Two more times. Good, breathe it in. Exhale it down. Good, inhale, come up and over. You're gonna keep opening it up. Turn sideways, bend into your left knee for a side lunge. Letting that hip be open. Good, we're gonna rock forward, square everything back up, reach those arms forward. Keep reaching forward, warrior three, as your left leg lifts. Crescent lunge, leg lowers, torso up, breathe it in. Exhale, your journey to down dog. I'm gonna take the extra chaturanga and the extra little dip down from up dog, your choice. Up 
try to squeeze it right down the center. Spin your back heel down, find warrior one. Nice and square. Exhale, warrior two. Put that left palm in reverse warrior. Arms wherever you like here. And exhale, come forward, extended side angle. Good, breathe it in. Exhale, both hands come down, lift your back heel, sink your hips, send your left arm up for a twist. Rotate on the outer edge of your right foot, turn your left foot out and dip that hip down. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, dip it down. Two more. Breathing in. Exhale it out. One more time. Good. Exhale it out. As you inhale, come up and over. Keep opening it up. Turn sideways. Bend into your right knee. Skandasana to the right. Forward into your left foot. Square everything off and reach. Find your warrior three. Right leg lifts. Crescent lunge. Leg lowers. Torso up. Exhale. Vinyasa. Option for that extra push up in that extra little up dog dip. Breathe in, look forward. Take your feet there. Halfway lift. Hold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach high. Hands to heart. Sit those hips back for chair. Palms are pressing together. Long spine as you breathe in. And we'll twist to the right, left elbow outside of your right knee. Try to keep those knees in line as you twist. Now take the weight out of your left heel. You're gonna pick up your left foot and step it back for a lunge. Hands can stay here or plant that left hand, reach your right arm up. Good, now take that left hand down if it's not already. Step your shoulders as you breathe in. Exhale, we'll switch hands, right hand down. Spin your back heel down, peel that left arm up. Extended side angle. Good, as you inhale, pass through warrior two, take it back to that reverse warrior. Good, exhale, cartwheel those hands down, press into your palms, sweep your right leg high. Hip is open, bend your knee, let your heel press to the left. Knee up, straight and bend a few times if you need. Good, breathe it in. Exhale, bring that right knee to your right tricep. Let it slide to your wrist, inhale. Exhale it back to your tricep. Send it high, breath in. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Slide it down, pull it up. Send it high, right down the center as you exhale. Lower it down, as you pull it up, plant your foot. Spin that back heel down, warrior one, breathe it up. Exhale, open to warrior two. We're gonna keep opening to the back for warrior three. So that left foot is down. You square those hips as your right leg lifts. Reach those arms forward if they're not. Step your right leg back, but keep reaching forward with that torso. Exhale, hands to heart. Come back to that side lunge into your right side. You can let that knee open up. If it needs to point straight toward your front, that's fine too. You can add in a twist here if you like or a bind. Good, 
try to drop in where you are. As you exhale, you're going to just lift up enough to come to the front in a lunge. Breathe it in. Vinyasa. You can always step straight to down dog and skip the chaturanga. Skip the upward facing dog. Look forward, inhale. Take your feet there. Half lift. Hold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach high. Hands to heart. Chair pose, hips sit back. Press those palms together, nice long spine. Exhale, we'll twist right elbow outside of your left knee. Trying to keep those knees in line. Lift up that right heel. Pick up your right foot, step it back. Hands can stay here or plant that right hand down. Good, now take that right hand down if it's not already. Left arm up, breathe it in. Exhale, we'll switch hands. Left hand down, back heel spins. Feel that right arm up, extended side angle. Good, breathe in, pass through warrior two and into that reverse warrior. Good, exhale, cartwheel those hands down, press into your palms, sweep that left leg high. Open hip. Whatever you need there. Lengthen through that leg as you breathe in. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Let it slide to your wrist, inhale. Exhale, pull it right back up. Send it high. Exhale, take it underneath. Lower it down, pull it up. Send it high, pull it right down the center. Lower it down, pull it up, plant your foot. Back heel spins, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Keep pivoting to the back for warrior three. That right foot's down, your left leg is up. Reach those arms forward. Step your left leg back, keep reaching forward with your torso, breathe in. Exhale, turn sideways, bend into your left knee. Let that knee open up if you like. Maybe you twist, maybe you bind. Good. Exhale, those hands come down. Lift up just enough to turn to the front in a lunge. Breathe in. Vinyasa. Right leg high. Right knee, right tricep. Swing it to the left, inhale. Exhale it back to the right. Send it high. Do that again, exhale. Inhale left. Exhale right. Send it high. Right knee, right tricep. Swing it left, kick it out. Leave that back heel up, five push-ups. Then spin your back heel down, peel that left arm open, fall in triangle. Good, exhale, hands down, knee in, plant that foot. Warrior one, breathe it up. That wasn't very graceful. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, grab that right wrist and pull it to the back or press that left hip forward. Good, you're gonna revolve your triangle. So shorten your stance if you need, take your left hand down, reach your right arm up. Exhale for pyramid, both hands down, square off over that straightened out right leg. 
breathe in for a half lift. Soften your right knee. Take your hands in front of your right foot. Send your left leg up. First with a square hip standing split. And then start to let that hip open up. And you're going to peel this up into a balancing half moon. Your right hand comes in front of your right foot. About a foot in front, left arm lifts. Stack those hips and shoulders. If you flex your left foot, it helps. Lower your left leg, stand up. Turn and face the wide side of your mat. Turn your toes out. Exhale, bend your knees. Pull those elbows to your hips. Breathe in, legs straighten, reach up. Exhale, bend, elbows pull. One more time. Go ahead, bend it down. Stay bent. Take that right forearm to your right quad. Reach your left arm up. Breathe it in. Exhale, cross that left arm in front, round through your back, we'll switch sides. Left forearm to your left quad, right arm up. Good, exhale that right arm in front, we'll stop in the center, straighten your legs, adjust your feet, take a wide forward fold. Take what you want or need right there. It's a little confusing. We're going to come back to the front. Normally we'd go to the back of the mat. But half lift as you breathe in. Exhale, fold deeper. Come back to your right leg. Low twisted lunge. Left hand down, right arm up. Breathe it in. Prepare to open up that body for a side plank. Maybe reaching for your right big toe. Open it up. Keep opening it up for a wild thing, but take that transition slowly. Right leg behind you. Reach that right arm away, straighten through your left leg. Inhale, find three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, three-legged plank, optional push-up. Twice more, three-legged dog. Exhale, three-legged plank, optional push-up. Press it up. Exhale, three-legged plank, optional push-up, send it up, and right leg meets the left, down dog, let's take a vinyasa, plank, breathe it in, chaturanga, press, hips go nice and high, left leg in the air, left knee to left tricep, like a pendulum, swing it right and left, send it up. Exhale it in. Breathe in right. Left. One more. And then exhale it in. Swing it right. Kick it out. Leave that back heel up. I'm going to have to shift over a little bit. Five push-ups here. And at the end of that, spin your back heel down. Peel that right arm up. Exhale, hand down, knee in, step your left leg through. Come back to my mat. <laughs> warrior one, breathe up. Open warrior two. Woo, straighten that left leg. Grab your left wrist and pull, sky archer. Or press that right hip forward. Good, as you exhale, we're gonna revolve your triangle. Shorten your stance if you need. Right hand down, left arm up. Exhale for pyramid. Both hands come down. Hold over that squared off, those squared off hips. Half lift. Soften your left knee, hands down, send your right leg high. First with that square hip standing split. Then start to let it open up. Left hand comes about a foot in front of your left foot. 
Right arm heels open, stacking hips and shoulders for balancing half moon. Leg lowers. Five pointed star, I'm going to turn to face you. Turn those toes out. Exhale, bend your knees. Good, inhale it up. Exhale, bend. Inhale it up. Exhale, bend. Take that left forearm to your left quad, right arm up. Exhale, cross that right arm in front, and we'll switch. Exhale, wide forward fold. Take what you want or need there. Adjust your feet. Take your bind if you like. Go upside down, whatever your body needs. Then for a halfway lift, as you exhale, fold deeper, come back to your front leg, your left leg, twisted lunge, right hand down, left arm up. Prepare to open up that left side for side plank, and open it up. If you want to keep opening it, take that slow transition to wild thing. Left leg comes behind you, straighten through your right leg, reach your left arm away. You're going to inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up. Exhale, three-legged plank, optional push-up. Inhale it up. Exhale, three-legged plank, optional push-up. One more time. Good, three-legged plank, optional push-up. Send it up. Lower that left foot to meet the right. Breathe into plank and vinyasa. Look forward, inhale. Take your feet to your hands. Breathe in for a half lift. Hold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach up. Hands to heart. Good, set your feet up for chair pose. Those feet are together or slightly apart. Sit your hips back, last chair pose. Weight is in your heels to start with. Take your hands to heart center, in fact, here. Breathe in, lift those heels up. Weight is in the balls of your feet now. Exhale, lower just a little bit. Good, breathe it in. Exhale, lower a little. Breathe it in. Exhale, lower. Breathe it in. Exhale, lower. One more time. Exhale, lower all the way down to toe balance. Let those heels lift even higher. You can stay right here, or if you want to take this into a balance, maybe coming into crow pose. Fingers spread wide. You make that chaturanga shelf. If you've never lifted up for crow, maybe you just want to set up for it and lift one foot and then the other. Or play with that balance. You'll make your journey to down dog however you want to get there. From that downward facing dog, let's take one last vinyasa, however you like. Breathe it in. Maybe you want to take that slow vinyasa like we did in those first sun A's, spending an extra breath in each pose. Once you make your way to downward facing dog, find your child's pose. Bring back to your knees, sitting back on your heels. Letting your body rest on or through your legs.
We're gonna come to pigeon pose. You can come from down dog or just sweep that right shin forward. You can stay up or fold forward, whatever you need in that pigeon. You wanna keep your hips squared off in pigeon. So that may mean that you don't fold forward or that may mean that your right hip is way up high and that's completely fine. If it's too much, bend your back leg for deer pose. If you need more, make it a little more intense. You can move your torso to the front left diagonal like you're smashing your foot. Or you can thread the needle, left arm under, right arm wraps behind your back, and reaches for your right big toe. And you can stay where you are, or if you want to press your body back upright, bend your back leg, add in a little bit of a quad stretch. You can reach for that left foot. Maybe you even hook your foot with your left elbow. Right arm can reach up and back. release that. So you're going to make your way to the other side, however you want. You can come to down dog or just to all fours. Kind of settling into that left side, folding forward if you'd like. If you need a little more, take your torso to the front right diagonal or thread the needle here. Right arm reaches under. Left arm wraps behind your back and catches your left big toe. You want to press yourself upright, bending that back leg, catching that foot. You can hook it with your elbow, left arm can reach up and back if you like. that. Come out of that pose first, however you like. Then allow yourself a transition onto your back. Taking any final movements or poses, maybe a spinal twist or happy baby. Seal off your practice however you like and then come into your Shavasana.
Letting your body fully, completely relax. Bringing some movement back to your body. Just allowing yourself a release from Shavasana, however you like. Ultimately coming up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting up tall, we'll breathe in together, arms reach up. Hands to heart as you exhale. With love and gratitude from my heart to yours. Namaste. I know I mentioned my sweet friend Brooke and her husband the other day, um, still sending them all my love, prayers, strength, all of that. Uh, he's still fighting for his life. So if you know them or even if you don't, um, I know that there's, there's power in numbers of people. So hope that you enjoy your Friday and I'll be back tomorrow to do some yoga and I'm probably at noon. <laughs>